here to talk about. All right, all right. So we're back. We're back. Uh, we're still three. Unfortunately, uh, Lance uh, uh, can't join us uh, as he's still busy in work. Uh, it's the Christmas. Happy Christmas, Christmas. Si Lance. Si Lance. Oh, <laughs> kailangan pa nga nang ko Justin Claudia. Okay, lang yan. Claudia with okay. him. Oh, my name is Claudia Perrin. I'm with Clara Manzano and back from the Bobo, Jay. Yes. Yes. So, Relax lang. Relax lang. <laughs> So today we'll just we actually do, I I did have a topic I do have a topic, uh but uh you know I wanna we had a all of us have have had a I guess a stressful week or stressful month so you know stressful our, year stressful year so <laughs> ngayon will be the most relaxed <laughs> podcast uh episode ever uh, uh, now <laughs> we'll talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> let's know we'll run through we'll be running through the current events pretty much because Correct. it's still That's been a ano crazy sporting bali? year and dami ding balita actually this day right now na nagre-record ay ang daming balita yeah super well who oh. goes to the bubble you know um uh uh championship to coach Tim Cohen all right Tim, all right all right. Um, All right. <laughs> uh, his 23rd uh, PBA championship. And, you know, it's so funny because last year, diba, Claro and Jake, we were all in the SEA Games. Oh. We we're all yes. part of the SEA Games. And last year, December 11, this, uh, yesterday, the, the men won the gold medal. So, yes. Woohoo! See, it's a championship streak for Tim Cohn. Diba? Happy, no? He won. The Governor's Cup. He won see he won see Games Gold. He won a Governor's Cup. And then all then the season 45 ng PBA na, na postpone. We entered a bubble. Tapos ayun, another championship for Earl Timothy Cohn. Okay, I, w- I want actually let's stick to the topic. Ganda ng topic. I wanna know what cuts him, what makes him above the rest? What do you think that he has? That other coaches can't seem to figure out. Bottom line. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Adaptability, maybe. First, adaptability because Coach Tim was running the triangle. And the triangle, of course, is, is you do reads. You do reads to run the triangle. So if they're going to show you the post, then you go curl around into the paint and slash. If they if they deny you the paint, you have an easy back door for the layup. So things like that, reads, reading things, adaptability. And they were saying that the triangle offense was getting outdated because the game now is much faster. So they adapted. He kept the base of the triangle, but he somewhat came up with his own version. Like what he said in that coaching um, online seminar before of Coach Ariel and company. So I think that's it. Keeping up with the trends, finding that magic. Um, finding that magic. Oh, this is what we need to do to succeed in the game today. Right. Because if you pull out his initial foundation of maybe the Chicago Bulls in the '90s, and you apply it now, maybe the on-court tactics won't work. Yeah, no. I mean, I mean, all all coaches can adapt, but his. The, the way he does his adaptability, the way he does, you know, changes in the game. Galing, galing. And I've worked with Coach Tim. And for me, his leadership and the way he, his passion for the game, the passion for others. Galing. Okay, Jay, sorry. You're... Saka isa pa. Saka isa pa. Going on, uh, uh, piggybacking on what you said. Sabi ni Clara, adaptability. That is true. That is a requirement on all the coaches. Sabi mo, Claudia, his leadership is very evident, no? In handling a team. And ang nangyayari doon, those two characteristics, those adaptability, that adaptability, that uh, leadership translates to his players as well, eh, di ba? You see how those Hinebra players got a command in that basketball court. You see Scotty Thompson, di ba? He's not really an offensive player here in the PBA, di ba? He's still not an offensive player here in the PBA, pero his clutch genes... Have you seen his clutch jeans? Grabe. This, uh, <laughs> grabe. Grabe. If you're, if you're Beralco, if you're TNT, ang sakit sa puso, di ba? And again, 
that's adapting, di ba? You know, Scotty Thompson, ang role niya ngayon, perhaps, tanggap niya ng role niya ngayon, mag-rebound, di ba? Pero, when his number was called, he got that ball in the final seconds, he was able to shoot it. That was his own diba? game two ata yun, last, sarili, uh, game three ata, game two. That's game two. Yes, that's game oh. two of the finals. And then, the series clincher sa Meralco, di ba? Sakit nun. That's a that's painful as hell. The like core nursery. Oh. <laughs> Tapos, talking about leadership, look at L.A. Tenorio. My goodness. Ayaw. Di ba? Yeah. Very fitting na siya yung maging finals MVP, not because of the stats, but because how he commands the floor, how he commands his teammates whenever he's on the floor, how he runs that offense so well. And like what Claro said, hindi na kailangan ng triangle eh. Di ba? Good. So that is something that Coach Tim was able to share with his uh, players. Na if I am here able to adapt, able to lead, even his, his even his coaching staff, di ba? At times, Richard Del Rosario, di ba? Siya yung nagko-coach doon. Minsan nga. Yeah. Oh, minsan nga, ang, ang, ang lokohan namin doon, ayan na, tinamad na mag-coach si Coach Tim, nababad trip na. Oh, diba? yeah, actually. That, that, that's that's what I wanted to point out. Ah. He he does he gives credit to his uh his his assistants all yes. the time. All the time. Even to dog out, he would always oh, oh. grab it. Hands down. Yeah. Oh, so, so that's the thing. Na inspired din yung mga players. So nakikita nila as coach team. Ah, this one's leading by example. This one knows how to adapt. This one knows how to get the command of what they need to do as a team, di ba? And translate lang sa mga players. And I think that's Really big for Barangay Hinebra in winning this championship here in the bubble. Correct. Claro May isang kulang. Ano? It's just that they weren't wearing their usual coat and ties to win a championship. Which yeah, is he a was trademark. so uncomfortable though. He didn't feel, yeah. he didn't feel yeah. like, like a coach. Like, I, feel, I feel so uncomfortable. He's, he's not feeling like he's coaching a basketball game. Yeah. Oh. Parang, nasa, parang nasa practice pa rin siya na... Pero it's what kept him as, at his toes eh. Diba? I've never seen Coach Tim Cohn very restless on the bench na yung tipong on one, at one time nandun siya sa deep most part ng bench. I saw and that. And then this at one time nandun siya sa gilid ng LED board malapit na sa amin. <laughs> nandun, I know he's one of the calmest coach nandun lang siya sa isang position pero I've never seen him that yun namamasyal talaga. Pinapasyal niya yung boom bench dun. Baka ma'am, ano siya comfortable kasi naka rubber shoes lang siya. <laughs> yun nga, you're, parang practice nga lang eh. yeah. You're chasing your step count also. You say you have to to stay healthy. You hit 10,000 steps a day daw, di ba? That is the yeah. minimum quota. Oh, oh yun nga eh. In, 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 regarding yung sa paggalaw niya, there was one play. Actually, I was watching TV and he was he, he was in the corner. Yung corner ng uh, the bench? line. The three, yeah, in the corner of the three. Oh, point corner point three, below. okay. I'm like, why mm. is he there? He doesn't normally stand there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, since you're talking about coaching positions and where they stay in the bench, some things I noticed. Normally, coaches stay nearby the sideline inbound spot. Extended free throw line, yes. But the other, another one of the interesting spot, Alden Ayo would stay in that corner when he was coaching. You know, I think there's a reason why people do that. Some coaches oh. do that. I just think it's just vantage point, maybe. Also, that's one, but there's also uh, a trick. Some people will think that you're a player, so they'll pass the ball to you. Because you're in a good spot. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it happened. I think it happened in the NBA, where somebody passed it on to someone. For, I forgot what team, but parang they say, "Why is he there?" Oh, it's because, <laughs> you know, they could think that he's a player. So that pick could be a tactic. Yeah, there are rare moments also. Where you see the position of the ref, regardless of which basketball tournament, huh? NBA, FIBA, UAP, uh. basta basketball. Sometimes someone drives in and you see the ref in the corner or in the wing. And they look like great spots to kick out uh. to. Oh, it's not a Accidentally uh. passed to the ref in 2011 in the first game, I think, against UAE, FIBA Asia, 2011. But it was early in the game. And in fairness... The ref was wide open on the wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh no, that that's the thing. Kaya ang mga referees, they never put themselves in that corner. Kasi they know it's an open spot. Uh, talagang suspect for kick out. Mm. They're not allowed. They're not allowed to... And they're not... Oh, they're not They're not allowed there. Yung wing, wala ka na talaga magagawa doon. <laughs> yeah, pero yung... Tama, no? I, I could see the coaches stand in the corner. Ref. I mean, some the refs could sit there. Could stand there. Oh. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so uh, in number one, uh, uh, against TNT. Uh, one third, news. Yeah. Oh. But there were injuries. In, in, in TNT. Uh, oh, that's an... Uh, Topang that's a, Giga. Yeah. Oh, Hell that's luck. another thing. Me and Noel are talking about this since he was my roommate. If TNT, kung hindi sila bunge, diba? Mm. If Ray Parts was healthy, if Jason Castro was healthy, it will go the distance. I wanted to go the distance. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Ito pa. Oh, ito pa. If Kelly Williams was in the lineup, TNT might get it. You think? Yes. Kasi, from the start, you see, TNT, bungi ang lineup ng TNT. They, walang backup center si Poy Aram, di ba? You know how Kelly Williams was well involved in that Bong Raveno Mark Dickel offense back in the previous conference. And then TNT adapted this uh, three ball, adapt, adapted a three ball system na they drive, kick out, shoot threes, di ba? Yeah. Right. If you're gonna check the stats, and daming three pointers and TNT ngayon. Tapos couple that with Pogo shooting the lights out, well improved ang kanya shooting. Ray Parks found his mark in shooting. Yeah, imagine if Poy Eram hindi siya ganun ka ano, uh, palagi na papa, uh, yung minutes niya, yeah. medyo na distribute sa iba. So, and Kelly Williams was there, it might be, it might be a different story for TNT. I was, I was just going to ask, do you think uh, the fitness level of TNT was missing? Mm. You game? can't expect oh, players God. you can't really expect players to just keep playing heavy minutes day after day, night after night. Especially so, in the Yes, so right. you can't solely blame it on fitness. Okay. It's on situation also. Maybe if you're in a bubble, they didn't, we were in lockdown for how long? So it's kind of expected that some people will get injured because, again, their bodies or their muscles somewhat forgot how to play, quote and quote. So yeah, I think it's... also, yeah. Yeah. So it's more in that perspective, I feel, oh. with injuries. Day one pa lang, may injury na yung TNT. Eh. Yes. Yes. Oh. Montalvo. Montalvo. Exactly. Montalvo, Montalvo had a, plant, had a plantar injury. Actually, Ray Parks had... That calf injury has been bothering Ray Parks. Uh, from Since the start. A bubble, yes. Kaya yeah, he naglaro... played injured. Oh, this is like Larunong Ano. I believe this is like Larunong first game nila ever where Progoy got 45 or something. Oh, that's right, that's right. And then the next game, the next game TNT played the Ingit siya. He blasted for 41. I love the fact that he's in Ingit siya. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, that's the thing. And actually, you can, for me, uh, you cannot attribute fitness in that situation because the other team is also tired. Remember? They don't look it. The fact that they didn't look yeah, like oh, one in the... Actually, if you're gonna base it on the games played or the minutes played or how the frequency of the games are played, the team that is not... The team that is well-rested, actually, hindi talaga pagod, was Alaska. Oh, they're, the, they're fit, because, yeah. Oh, because bago pa magkaroon ng halt ng play just to recalibrate lang yung mga protocols and all mm-hmm. before that 9 game day straight that 30 games in 9 days that's come up agad rin ah oh, Alaska already played 8 games so dire, 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 sila. If, oh so in that uh, 9 game day stretch they only played 3 games oh. 3 games na rin I think 3 or Sarap. 4 games normal so, programming oh so entering yeah. the and the rest, sunod-sunod yung mga laro, including Ginebra, including TNT. So you can't really attribute fitness to sa part yan. It's just that siguro, if you'll talk about fitness, actually, hindi mo rin masasabi. Alam mo, bakit? <laughs> bakit? No. You know why? Why? Because TNT rotate their men very quickly. Is, isn't that... 
again, a bad, bad thing if they rotate them quickly, shouldn't they like rotate them? But I like the way that coach team rotated his players, except for Japet, who looked like he was always tired. But the rest, <laughs> Andy oh. Pringle, my goodness, the guy oh, looked, oh. could run a marathon. No, Rotation. The thing, huh? oh, the thing about Japet, well, Japet's coming off an injury. Also, LA Tenorio coming off an yes, that's off right. a surgery. Yeah. For God's sake, ba? I mean, it's just really about getting their groove, eh? Again, like Mariano, my gosh, that guy looked like he, he was so fit. Mm, Alcim mm. Mariano, si... Wow. Oh. So, some people maybe spent their lockdowns just running, maybe, or biking. So that's an upside. That's all, yeah. That yeah. Can be yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. On, that's on raw stamina. But raw stamina, yeah, that's right. Yeah. But just because you're super fit from always working out running or treadmill or on the stationary bike, again, that doesn't mean you're going to be immune to the injuries from, you know, your body again forgetting oh. how to play in physical contact. So, yeah, back to you guys. Tsaka, oh, tsaka isa naman, like what you said, Claro, hindi, you cannot also predict injuries. Eh. Means that it's going to be very random, eh, no matter how fit you are. Yeah, it's true. Diba? That's true. That's true. Well, wow. anyway, so that's one news. That uh, again, congratulations, uh, Hineber San Miguel oh. and Coach Tim Cohn for winning the All Filipino Cup bubble. They say the uh, cup bubble. Actually, para sa nang Grand Slam, eh, no? Kasi oh. <laughs> the only times three, times three. Yeah, kasi <laughs> for only conference in the whole year. So, uh, hmm. para sa nang Grand Slam, and uh, it was such a uh, nice thing to watch back PBA again, and then. And then Oh, that's that's back, yeah. but I want. I would like to go to the next next news is mm. which we which I wanted to talk about today, actually tonight for the topic, which was the banning of contact sport for elementary or the minor. So my, minor is what? Yeah, si, minor. Ano bang minor? Eighteen below. Below eighteen. Or oh, so so up until senior high school, yan. Until senior high school. So the, yes. the govern. There is there are two government. Uh, government. Government, uh, a congressman that filed the bill that would it would avoid or you know ban uh, contact sport and that's karate, judo, taekwondo, and even MMA. boxing, even boxing and muay thai. What do you guys think? You want to go ahead, You want to go ahead? You're gonna ban it. They're gonna ban like all the programs, right? Yeah, even no from him. setting. Does this even include setting up a taekwondo or boxing yeah. clinic in your school, in an educational institution? Let's but say that for grade schoolers. That defeats the purpose of having a bill. Why have that and then have no, a um, loophole? Diba? Parang, like, yeah. It might be include that. Pa ata. If you include that. Because, you know, for all you know, when they're trying to make revisions and to pass this thing, they're going to start coming up with the fine print and to say, this is included, this is not allowed, that is not allowed. And those startup clinics, not startup clinics, but the grassroots levels where you teach tiny kids, that will most likely get affected, right? Because why will they teach this kid to play? Or why will they teach this kid taekwondo? Wala namang tournament, eh, di ba? Correct. Ano yan? You'll train for 12 years and then your first tournament's in college. In growth diba? level, mo wala. Exactly. <laughs> and for me, the most important thing is self-defense. Yeah. You remove that, even the competitions, self-defense. What if someone attacks you, right? Because I don't think they're concerned about kids beating each other up in the streets. Oh, I know Taekwondo. Oh, I know Muay Thai. I'm going to beat up my classmate for the heck of it. No. That's not the case because you know that when they teach you these things, they tell you it's for self-defense. You're not supposed to do it to inflict pain on others, only if someone's harming you. So I say that's a big no-no again. And we have these, we remember that we produce all sorts of stars. We have the guys like Chom Ligo, Japoy Lizardo, homegrown players wow. even. You have guys like Chris Uy, Pauline Lopez, ang dami, di ba? Yeah. And the sport of Taekwondo is starting to pick up because of the gold medal of Pauline Lopez. So shouldn't you even ride that wave? So that is my take, especially. Biggest concern there is 
the self-defense part will really miss out. But right again, this is sports. So it goes way beyond that. But I'm just, I'm just scratching the surface right now. That's correct. And, and you know, you, you mentioned someone, like you said, you know, the international, you have uh, produced stars. You forgot one big star that came from, from, uh, from, from contact sport. And I'm sure he, he played it when he was young. Manny Pacquiao. Oh, okay. Oh. I was thinking of Olympics perspective. <laughs> okay. That's, 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 <laughs> yeah, but that, that's fine. Take it, Jay. Manny Pacquiao started boxing when he was 14 or 15. Yeah. That was, he was, di ba, his story na pumunta na siya dito ng Manila when he was 16 years old. He was an underage laborer. Ay, that time. Talaga? Okay. That was, oh, that was a story. Wow. You have to, re, you have to re, rehash on that. Pero, wow. Here's the thing. I don't know the exact reason for filing that bill. Pero if I'm going to put uh, my perspective on their side, perhaps Claro was right na parang you just want to teach kids. Uh, you don't want to teach kids violence of any sorts, di ba? Perhaps that's one perspective. I don't know the real perspective about that. Pero there are a lot if you try to pass that, if, kung gusto na lang ituloy yon, if they want it to continue it as a law, if they want to make it as a law, they have to look as well yung mga, the other side na pwede maapektuhan nung ginawa nilang batas na yun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For example, unang-una dyan, all the pro-sports people in the government are pushing for grassroots program. Diba? Grassroots meaning punta ka sa probinsya, punta ka sa kasulok-sulukan ng Pilipinas and find the young kids who are interested in the sport. Di ba? Yeah. Kumbaga so, yung mga gifted talaga, yung mga naturally gifted jiu-jitsu artists, taekwondo artists, naturally gifted boxers at a young age, di ba? Hanapin nyo na yun. But, come on, then you're gonna file a bill that pag naging law will essentially stop them or prevent them from developing their God-given abilities and you want them to execute at the age of 18, di ba? Yeah. Baka mapanis, baka mabulok, di ba? Exactly. Oh. Exactly. So kaya, naturally, maraming magre-react talaga, especially no na dun sa sport. Eh, considering na those two people that filed this bill, ang unang-unang makakwestion, but maunang-unang makakwestion dyan, are they within the circle of uh, combat sports, diba? Exactly. Not, not even. You can just ask, are they into sports? Doesn't have to be a combat sports. Do you oh. watch sports? Are you into sports? Oh. Ayun. Oh. Oh. Contact sport pa lang, basketball at soccer, oh. contact sport na yun. Actually, you could get injured nga kahit, kahit soccer. Eh. Magkamali lang yung you're the defender, they he tackle you. Yeah. Oh. oh, actually. Oh, tama. And again, kung isaside mo yung perspective nila, Ayaw nilang malagay sa... Ayaw nilang ma-instill sa mga bata yung konsepto ng violence at that young age. I think it's not... It's not the duty of such law to do that to kids. I mean, they, have, they still have their parents, still have their coaches who teach them those kind of values. Tama sinabi ni Claro kanina na it's the coach na magtuturo din sa kanila na use this at the appropriate time, di ba? Self-defense, diba? Hindi naman sasabing attack somebody else, diba? Okay. That's not the concept. Of... Don't hit somebody. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Do not. That's gonna be our next topic after this. Oh. <laughs> not gonna be the concept of martial arts or anything of self-defense, diba? That's right. So, kaya, yun nga. It's not the responsibility of the law to teach kids. that to, to not teach kids or to not to introduce to not introduce the kids the concept of violence. I like Maybe what to, you said. It is not within the law to educate. I mean, to educate the the natural person person's values. Diba? That's that's true. Yeah. So I'll, I want to plug a hole, please. There okay, okay, two hole. holes actually. Uh, what if they say, "Eh, para kung sa uh, ng coach okay lang, you can attack others." Oh, I was just gonna. This is where I was gonna uh, come in. I actually have a solution for that. Okay. okay, I'll leave that blank first. I'll jump ship to my second point. Lang. Uh, I. Manny Pacquiao, I think he didn't even come from like the school system because he quit school yes. because of poverty, right? Yes. 
Yeah. So I don't even think he had formal training. So he wasn't in school. Let's say if the law applied, he wouldn't be affected by it. Because he was a manual laborer. And yeah, that's what gave him strength. Oh. Yeah. Yes. So in that situation, na parang like informal training siya. Yes. But you can't expect people to just quit school because martial arts is banned, right? That's and true. say, oh, I'm just going to make it a career, right? Because uh-huh. again, you have this holistic formation of academics and athletics. Yes. Uh-huh. And I think Pacquiao lied about his age, diba? Right? You guys mentioned earlier. Did he? Pac- okay. I know he, when he was a, yeah, to start being a pro. Wow. So it's known so, already. Para maging, ano siya, para maging legit na laborer siya, I think he has to declare that he is around 18 or I don't yeah. know. Oh, okay. okay, like okay. That, yes. Uh-huh. Or I think even his pro debut. Okay. So in that situation, yes, he made his debut, let's say, late. But, that's, but then again, he had this informal training. Yeah. But if it's informal training, are you going to produce a star every single time? No. no. That's, that's, why, that's, right. that's why you can't just ban all of these sports all of a sudden and say, okay, bye. Because that's not the case. Mm. Correct. So we all agree, agree on that. But I want to... What, what, before, before I close when I close before I close this and move to another topic uh, the reason uh, our, our good friend Charlie Kuna put it on on, on, on his uh, status right and I, I replied saying you know because he, he also doesn't agree and I replied why ban the sport when we should be improving it right and how to improve that is improve it to the to the to the coaches how you 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 educate the coach educate the coach how what's the safety 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 protocols of the of, of a combat sport and then after that you also educate the organizing committee the organizers you don't cut off the arm of a person that could make it its own livelihood the person's livelihood you don't do that mm-hmm. and and when you do that if you ban grassroots tournament let's call it grassroots tournament for combat sports Bye-bye Olympic sport medal. One of the, for me, is one of the uh, highest percentage of getting an Olympic sport is combat sport. Uh, Olympic gold is combat sport. Taekwondo, MMA, boxing, MMA, for me. And then if you ban that, if you cut it, goodbye. So, Tam, I think we're all in agreement uh, regarding uh, that new news. Now, to our next news. I'll just, siguro, two or three new, uh, uh, news uh, uh for this week, no? uh, I want to stick with you, Claro. Uh, the FIBA February uh, Bubble. <laughs> what are you? I'm sure you're excited. <laughs> I got okay. excited. Yes, we're hosting it. And then I remembered wait, close door. <laughs> 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 alam mo yung so alam what's mo yung, the point mo, <laughs> kaya nga ako nakahiga dito so for every, for everybody who's listening right now ang position ko ngayon di ba nakahiga ako dito para ako si Cleopatra <laughs> with, with a Pokemon <laughs> I think oh. oh with a Pokemon I mean I'm holding Bulbasaur right now oh. ito di ba yun nga that's the news na bago pa namin bago pa umalis bag, nasa loob pa kami ng PBA bubble we are entertaining the possibility of hosting another bubble in that same place sa Clark, diba? And then, just before we leave, just before we left, nasa bus na kami, pa na, our good friends from SBP and FIBA already said na the FIBA bubble in 2020, in February 2021 might happen. 99% daw. Wow. What was oh, the 1%? 1%. 1%. 1% was the news this morning. Yun. Oh. Galing, 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 galing. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to watch it. You know. Um, I had something in my mind, but I forgot. I completely forgot. Jay, you were talking about the bubble. And then hmm. so who do you who's gonna be the coach? Maybe PBA players bang kasama dito. Definitely magakaro ng PBA players then because it's a February window. Wala pa PBA season. The PBA season will start on April 9th. They're targeting an anniversary start sa, ano, sa season 46. And then, ang mga yari dito, so, available ang mga PBA players. Even coaches, they're available. Mamaya, sasabihin na, mamaya, sasabihin, ikukwento ko sa inyo kung ano yung naiisip ko dyan. 
Pero may eye ah, emoji. <laughs> oh, si Claro may pasalubong muna sa atin eh. Okay. One. Okay. Oh, uh, you're you're on mute. Claro. Go Claro. claro. Woo! Yeah. So our episode of Who the Heck Are We is sponsored by homemadeph.com. Purchase the warmth of a home cooked meal or scrumptious dessert. Yum yum. Get 10% off your bill and our code use our code who the heck on your off your purchase. So so the code is who the heck. Am oh. I- That's so right. Check what do they have to do? They have to. Oh, just on. put in that code on homemadeph.com. Wow, I should do that. We should let yeah, homemadeph.com people, and then uh, uh, type in the code, who the heck to get discount. That's oh. right. That's right. Woo! All right. Quick, what the heck can we order right now from homemade? Yeah, actually, what can we do? What can we? What can we order? You can even order your home Korean barbecue that <gasps> you can cook. Oh. Or you can order a cheesecake. Ayun. Ayun. Pizza. Yeah. So again, who the heck? heck who the heck? Pizza. I want so, a Korean barbecue. Some gipsal, de ba? Some gipsal. So oh. yes. Yeah. So okay. So we're gonna have the PBA Hello, players guys. back in the February. Yes. Uh, Bobo, yes. Coach John. Most Pan likely. In. Yeah. Most likely they're gonna have the PBA players in addition to the exceptional cadets. Cadets players na nagpakita ng gilas nung Bahrain Bubble. Of course, you gotta throw in their Dwight Ramos, of course. Oh gosh, PBA ready. <laughs> oh. oh yes. And then, you have to remember we're playing Korea twice. Huh? Uh, yes, yeah, they, we haven't oh, played right, them. That's right, because they were, that's right, that's right. They will not default Korea. So, Korea will play four games in five days. So, meron silang malamang dalawang back to back sana tayong huli <laughs> they have two back to back they have full back to back full they back have two back. they have two philippines games they have one indonesia game they have one thailand game siguro book in tayo oh first and tapos, the last actually ang, ang magi schedule niya si Piba Asia walang walang schedule na kinalaban niya si ano si Philippines si, si SBP oh. understandable obvious reasons if we had their way it would be Gilas Korea, Gilas Korea in the end. Oh. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah, so that's you what press I'm thinking. Them too. Oh. Yeah. So ito yan. Korea is gonna play four games. The Philippines is gonna play three games. Two Koreas and one Indonesia. Indonesia is gonna play two games. That's one Philippines and one Korea. And Thailand is just gonna play one game against Indonesia. Okay, my bet is we're going to win all. They're going to they're gonna play Korea pala. They're going to play another Korea. So, Thailand's going to play two games pala. Sorry. So, kailangan malakas. Pinang malakas sa PBA players sa natin nun. Let's Uh-oh. bring back Jimmy Alapag just to hit a mid-court three from his <laughs> dedicated three-point line, no? <laughs> You're going to actually ask him out of retirement from the United uh-huh. States to come back. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I know. No, no, no. Just not to play, just to hit the threes in the end. Uh, okay, okay Jimmy Alapag, we call you back, you know. So yes, please, Coach Jimmy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. pero if any, pero ato, ah, you have to know this. Ang windows, de ba ang rules sa window? You can bring, you can fly in as much as 24 players, de ba? But each game you're gonna field in 12 players out of those 24. So on your first game, you can use this 12 players. Second game, you're gonna mix another 12 players. So I don't know about you two guys. So we have twenty four players. players. So got... in a team A and a team B. Twenty four PBA strong players. No, okay, not twelve. Like majority of PBA players as are Gilas cadets. Wow, lakas natin. Oh, but you're gonna only play twelve. Yeah, but two. Uh... Oh, oh. oh, you're gonna play twelve, but for every other so, game, you could change them, and right? Yes, 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 rotate. Yes. Uh, oh, you could rotate. Yeah. Rotate. Uh, uh, magandang topic and for the next ano, magandang topic na yun. Yes. Uh, uh, pero ito pa, let's not forget the other group. Now, dalawang groups ang i-host natin. So, we are group A. We are oh, Philippines, Jenna. Philippines, Korea, Thailand, and Indonesia. Then, we have group C, which is Australia, New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Oh. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Sorry. Oh, Mark so speak, Weber. So speaking of Guam, diba? Oh, yeah, Jericho, that's right. Jericho, 
That's that, that, but we oh. could talk about that in another topic para si Claro oh. could uh, really go deeper into that delve into oh. that more, right? Okay, so thank you so much. So that's for the PBA. So we already spoken about the PBA, the MMA, the FIBA. Now let's go to F1. Claro, I watched that that uh, crazy crash. Ooh. Oh my God! Did you see that, Jay? Did you see it? Yes, I saw that. That's just the beginning uh, of the crazy week. Oh, yeah. The Grosjean, the Grosjean crash, de ba? Yeah, I, I was watching. Oh, my, I really screamed. Oh my gosh, is he alive? Actually, oh, actually, may sumpa yung race na yun, de ba? The crash year. happened. The crash happened in the second lap, right, Claro? First, literally in the first, first lap. First lap. First lap, oh. oh. Ah. And then, mga tipo, seven or eight, eight laps later, they brought out the safety car again because of another crash. No, it right. was a, a first first lap, and then the grid uh, stopped Correct. for a long yes. time, long time, because it was a really bad crash. Mm-hmm. And then, nag, nag starting pit na ulit sila, and then they 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 went off the grid. Nag may nag crash ulit. Correct. So, so, first, first, yung, first, first, first. Oh, may sumpa yung race na yun, eh, di ba? <laughs> so, oh. This is the silly season of F1. There's been so many crazy races. There was a race oh. where we had like three red flags. Am I correct? In Mugello, Italy. Mugello, yeah, that's right. I remember yeah. watching that too. Yeah. That was crazy. This is just, this isn't even the, the race itself isn't even the cherry on top. There's more to that. Because there's so many events that went on. But if you can extract something from that race, the cherry on top, of course, is Grosjean surviving. Yeah. But, We've had so many crazy races this season. Never mm-hmm. seen so many like that. We know, okay, Lewis Hamilton won all, like pretty much everything. Yeah, he's like but, the number oh, one. Yeah, number one so, wins, huh? Yes. Nakuha na lahat ni Lewis Hamilton, eh, di ba? Yes. So much, so much drama pa rin in the behind Lewis Hamilton coming in first. Oh, because people are fighting for second, third, and so on. Yeah. So. Anyway, the biggest thing that happened with Lewis, Lewis Hamilton got COVID. We know oh. that the news came, or when lockdown started worldwide, every, we were getting reports of celebrities getting COVID. NBA having to That's stop. Right. And right. you, Tom Hanks posted something, and I just thought to myself, I don't know what you guys think. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Man, even guys like Tom Hanks are getting COVID. Yeah. So During this, the time, yeah. It's like, oh yeah. gosh, Terry. Oh. Yeah. yeah. They're getting COVID. So this is real. A mm-hmm. real danger. I knew the virus was dangerous, of course. Don't get me wrong. But we saw that it has to be taken seriously. This is a yep. legit code red. Even the NBA oh. had to stop. And the NBA doesn't stop, right? Except for unless there are acts of God. So yes. Louis got COVID. Who's going to replace him? They got George Russell. And George Russell is driving the worst car on the grid. And was about to end, had the chance to win. But don't, don't discredit George Russell because the guy really knows how to drive. Okay. If okay. any of us drive Lewis Hamilton's car, Olayan will finish number 40 out of 20. <laughs> wow. that's, how bad, that's how bad our pace will be. Okay. Because George oh. Russell has links to Mercedes as a young driver. And, is, and that's why he was drafted to replace Lewis. And the Wait, guy almost won. George, George Russell came from uh, F3? Um, F3? F2. No, no. He came from Williams. Williams in okay. the last... Williams is the last team. Oh, right. Oh, so, oh, so you're not really an F1 driver now. He really oh, is an F1 driver, oh. yes. Driving the worst car on the grid. Okay. <laughs> but... His team, Williams, and George Russell personally is managed by like Mercedes. So parang may talent management then. Bottom yeah. line there is Mercedes also has drivers who race for other teams. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Parang additional stable lang yun. Uh-huh. In a nutshell, Team A, Team B. All right. Just for yeah. like the non-F1 aficionados. I like uh, you guys to get into the sport. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Anyway. They put him in and he was about to win the race. The guy never scored a point. Championship points. Never. But he was about to score a maximum of 25 points or even 26 in the race. Okay. What happened? They pit 
when they pit, they put the wrong tires on him. That's crazy. This never happens, guys. They never Mercedes made a mistake. They never screwed up oh. Lewis Hamilton. Wow. With mistakes. I can recall. So wait, can I just ask? Uh, Go ahead. How did when did they find out that they placed the wrong tires? When he drove yes, off? How the, or? The, how, how the hell did they find out? Yeah, how did they find out okay. the wrong tires? So they're Especially under safety. TV, they look the same. They're so under she, safety car, so everyone is slowing down. There was another accident. Oh gosh, okay. Mm-hmm. So Russell was about to complete one lap already. Um maybe no, maybe he's halfway into the lap and he said, We put the wrong tires on you. Oh, so oh, so someone from the uh, from the pit pit called him. They found yes. Yeah. So he had to change his tires. Let's just put it into the perspective of George Russell. This is like David win su- supposedly winning the race. So they found out wrong tires. Okay, fix the tires. He's good. Slid down to 14th, and he drove like a hooligan up to like seventh place maybe. I'm well, not bad, huh? 14 to seven. Fly you. And then he got a puncture. <laughs> Debris from the racetrack hit his tire. Oh, wow. From a previous accident. It wasn't clean. Taken some, off. Some things still stay. Okay. Yeah. Uncontro- um, beyond beyond you, their control. You're yeah. a very, you have a very large area to control. Mm. So they screwed up the tires. Fixed it. He picked up debris asking. already. And he had to pit again. Malas naman. Oh nga, napaka-malas naman niya. So three pit siya. Three pit, three pit race siya. Oh, I lost count already. Wow. I lost count because, because on paper, you can do, you can, you only have to, not on paper, you only have mandatory one stop one in an stop, F1 yeah. race. Oh. And but that, anyway, yes. Pero yung track na is only two, two pits, two stop, two pit track, di ba? Generally. Is that it the brain track, diba? It was a predicted no, no, no. two. Oh, the, what do you call this? Um, it's called the Bahrain Outer Circuit. Oh. oh. The, oh no. Yeah. Yes. You can do two pit stops, though. Some people did oh, one. That's, oh, that's... Ah, okay. So the, so the track itself, talagang generally one pit stop lang siya. Despite of the... Kasi diba, ano pa, depende pa sa weather, depende sa condition ng road. Yes, everything. Uh, everything. So everything. the two stop was standard. Uh, George Russell just did, I don't know, parang naging pit stop king na siya of the race. <laughs> so, the reason here everyone's so excited is because the guy holds, it's like number three in most races without points scored. And everyone's going crazy. Oh, George is going to score a point. Finally. And he was already going to score points. Then, After uh, fixing the tire situation, he went up to like seventh place or something. Uh, and he got that puncture, right? Botasan. So he was down to like 15th again. And then again, he drove like a hooligan, just like how he did. And that was it. So that's what you call like, if it's not your day, it's not your day. <laughs> oh, oh, it's it in F1, it's never George Russell's day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's never George Russell's day. Oh, poor guy. Yes. But oh, go ahead, Sergey. But you can think of this, Deba. Right? Kaya nagkaroon ng maling tires because of radio jamming, di ba? Nagkaroon ng confusion yes. among teammates, di ba? Yes. So, the team did not screw up like a bunch of clowns. Oh. What happened there was they were sorting out the tires and nagjam yung radio, like what you said, Sergey. I think they oh. said George Russell radioed the team. Mm. So, since he, since he radioed the team, the team wasn't able to give heads up to the pit crew whose tires will need to be given out first. Mm. So that's pretty much how it happened. Because uh, so, uh, the team, George Russell, after George Russell left the pits, Valtteri Bottas, the other Mercedes driver, mm. was supposed to change his tires. I uh, and they realized like, oh, damn. Oops. Two of his tires aren't here. It left with George. So they saw the mistake <laughs> there. I like the way you said it left with George. <laughs> <laughs> so they said it happened because of radio jamming. Because two people were talking on the radio at the same time. Mm. The, pit, the pit crew did not hear the notice. 
because George Russell was on the radio talking about some other it's things. It's a conspiracy. I'm calling it a conspiracy. So you think they screwed so, George Russell? Because so the thing is, bad luck every day. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the thing is, that is that can also be attributed to unfamiliarity, eh, diba? I mean, no, I call it a conspiracy. I mean, if you were saying, but it could be. Yeah, the, yeah. the radio space would have would not have jammed that way, di ba? Mayroon silang gap. May, may bigay yun yung dalawa. That's it's true. Like, that, that could be unfamiliar. It's unfamiliar like with, yeah. George Russell would not use the radio if he knows Botas was going to use the radio. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Diba? If you mind, that's, that's true. All right. So that ends. Uh, can I thank you, Clara, for giving us more of the uh, F1 news. And I'm so happy that uh, Trojan is safe. You know, the way yes. that... Uh, that oh. uh, you know the the improvement of safety in the Formula One is is uh, astounding. You know the safety car within two three seconds and dunna not yeah within two three seconds and how the doctor pulled out Grosjean. Oh, I uh, thought he yeah I thought I thought he was going out. <laughs> I yes, thought he was that's, gone. That's the medical oh. car. Iba pa yun sa safety car. I'm sorry, medical car. Thank yeah. you for correction. Yeah, med- and then the yeah safety car normally is behind, but the medical oh, bliss. It's so fast, so fast. And then the, the what do you call that? The, the halo. It really saved his life, you know. And mm-hmm. you always joke about it. It looks like a chinela, right? But that <laughs> was, it did save a life. And again, so we're closing uh, the F1 news. Now, the latest, that before we even came into this recording, is the UAAP. And this is going to be our last wow. news discussion. That's sad. Yeah, oh. season 83. Cancel. <laughs> It's canceled. Oh. <laughs> they were supposed Last, to have it on April, right? About April, yes. Last time, I think something was canceled that bad was during the war. World War II. Because yes. what happened was they didn't... 83 is canceled, and then we proceed to 84. So it's like we skipped the count. Yes. Yes. So I think even during World War II, let's just say it was season thir- it's supposed to be season 30 in the year 19... 19- 1944 but they go okay no season 30 next year is season 31 already so they skip count this yes so that's how it works it's not like it's not like oh season 30 was supposed to be this year so next year is season 30 yeah that's right no no it's 30 is only this year next year becomes 31 that's right that's right. Mm. So in Wikipedia, when somebody, when our kids look at it and say, what happened to season 83? They look at Wikipedia 83. Canceled. Yeah, Corona it, time. It, Damn it. Corona times. It's sad. Oh. It's sad. I mean, you, especially for the athletes that were, you know, that were, you know, raring to go. They wanted to play all, you know, all these months in lockdown, hoping to play in April. But they were thinking about either bubble, basketball, and volleyball, you know? Yes, they're considering the bubble. Yeah, oh. it's completely um completely shut. Cancelled. Jay, what do you think? Oh I think uh even even if they consider the bubble, I mean the operations behind that concept, the yeah, logistics yeah. behind that bubble. concept for a collegiate league, parang it's it would be very heavy for the UAP na I mean the back the backbone of the operations of the UOP relies on the teams as well, eh? on the host schools. La Salle, oh. right? Oh, La Salle's Salle. going to be yes, hosting. Host. So, La Salle, they can only do so much na parang ang bigat pa kung idadagdam mo rin yung mga health and safety protocols na kailangan. And you have to remember, they're not UAP employees. They're La Salle employees. That's right. So, they other then the UAAP na hawak na ginagawa ng trabaho may iba pa silang ginagawa na trabaho on their mother school so for those people that's going to be involved in the operations if they ever decide to be in the bubble it will be very difficult for them yun nga lang I, pero here's the thing kasi they're planning it in april and you have to know that may at this at this point in time that we are speaking right now, may vaccine na. Diba? Sana. And that's so, oh. Oh, oh. So, oh, so you okay, may vaccine na. They're applying it already. I just don't know if it's gonna work. Pero, may vaccine na. That's, yun yung ano nun, bottom line doon. However, I mean, four months from now, siguro it's 
perhaps a really short time. Uh, siguro, one, for the student athletes to prepare, di ba? With so much uncertainty pa. And pangalawa, again, yeah, if they ever decide to continue to pursue it, it's gonna be a real nightmare to execute it. The, PB, the PBA bubble is not, it's not that easy and they have to put that together in a matter of weeks lang and that's very, very difficult. Actually, Pero, not, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Claudia. Sige, go, go ahead. And ang ba na, the PBA is a, para silang corporation, it's a company talaga, it's an office, <laughs> di ba? UAP, for lack of a better term, parang it's a sideline, it's a hobby, di ba? For the member schools. Kailangan pagtrabahuan, di ba? Can I jump in there, Sir Jay? Uh, Yung, go ahead, Karo. I, I remember hearing Chair, Gab Chairman, Bahamitra, mm -hmm. uh, was saying, yung pro leagues get a push because they are play for pay. Yes, yes. Because yeah. it's their source uh, of livelihood. But uh, UAP, student athlete lang, amateur status lang, yung mm, sa kanila. Yeah. Because they're there to study, right? Mm. Not to play basketball. Oh. That's the bottom line. Oh. So, isipin mo, on that concept pa lang, sabihin mo, saan kukuha ng ganyang kalaking pera ang UAP? That's actually true. Yeah. Just to implement testings. Pay, pay additional people for protocols. Sa daily operations ng bubble, di ba? Food, lodging, and all. So lodging gonna pa be, lang, wala na. Oh, yeah. Gonna be a really daunting task. You know, I like I like what you said, Jaina. Which, because I, I I look at it in the eyes of an athlete, parang sayang, right? And no, then, oh. to compare it like, but, but to compare it the way you compared it to the UAP and PBA, PBA structured organization, okay? Structured, oh, uh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. it, it has its own operating manager, operation, and then mm -hmm. even the technical it has its own technical group. Mm -hmm. For the UAP, it's the it's the uh, host that has to look for that organization. Yes. Yeah, the so, school employees talaga. They are there to run a school. You you can't put the risk of a school employee into a bubble. You know, oh, unless you oh, really oh. pay them well. So, galing yeah. Oh. I, of course it's not masakit na you get to the oh. UAP, but it's for their good talaga. Oh, pero yun nga eh, masakit doon. Ako I felt sad for my fellow colleagues na kasama ko sa nakakasama ko sa table. Oh, yeah. That's the livelihood. The or the livelihood of the guys who run the games, diba? The referees, the table officials, well, even broadcasters, diba? That's right. I mean, my friends from the Signal and TV5 guys, they're all looking forward to broadcasting the UAP. Pero dahil nga cancelled, ayan, so, mawawalan sila na, mawawalan right. sila ng sort of, source of income, diba? Mm -hmm. That's why... Let's continue to flatten the curves, yeah. stay home, limit oh, movement and everything. That's right. right? That's correct. Oh. Pero the good news behind that, kung ikakancel nila ang season 83 ngayon, and again, with the news of the vaccine rolling out already, yeah. perhaps pagdating ng season 84 niya, which is La Salle's gonna host as well, di ba? Baka bumalik na normal yan, September ulit mag-umpisa yan. That's right, and 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 you know let's let, let's end let's end this podcast at a high note. And I'm sure mm. by the time the UAP starts, even hopefully by the time the PBA starts, we could we could uh, already put ourselves in the bums and the seats of the venues, no? Um, mm -hmm. Watching quite limited, lang. Okay, well, let's mm. not, you know, and uh, that that's gonna start a good note for the year. You know, 2020 has been a crazy, long and tiring and trying year, but oh. you know, sports for us is really. Uh, it gives us hope. It gives us uh, energy, and uh, the news we had really, uh, you know, the, all the news that we spoke about here, except except for the F one. That actually was a pretty good, you know, uh, news that Grosjean mm. survived that crash. You know, the, the PBA had a very successful bubble. What else? They, uh, we uh, spoke about the FIBA coming in uh, in mm -hmm. February. We we actually have a episode. I I just forgot what episode number, but we. Have an episode with Noel Zaratet. Pagpasok sa bubble. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Discussing, discussing uh, where the uh, FIBA will hold their their games, and uh, the Philippines was one of the the choices that we have. So we have that. Uh -huh. and, 
F1, uh, there was success as well in F1. And now the UAP, though it's canceled, uh, there's going to be something good next year. And, uh, you know, we've, we've, we just can't wait for sports to come back. The NBA is back. So, by <laughs> right? Oh. So, our, our, our next episode uh, will come, I think, I think the... The NBA will be playing now by that time. Oh, lapit na, lapit na NBA. Oh, diba? It's gonna be this weekend, or that? Oh, I think on the twenty second. The preseason. Twenty second, yeah. So, well, yeah, lapit so US. na. Thirteenth, mm. thirteenth yeah, preseason na dito sa preseason NBA. Preseason the thirteenth, so they'll be playing. Oh. They'll be hopefully they'll be showing some games. So, again, oh. uh, thank you so much, Jay and Claro, for this mm. relaxing uh, podcast <laughs> episode about the new. Oh, uh, chill lang, chill lang, because. Chill. Uh, and again Lance we miss you this is the third time that we're not in the episode but we miss you um, again uh, thank you so much and uh, please uh, like Claro your ad your your brother's uh, uh, brother's uh, company oh okay so guys again use our discount code who the heck when you make a purchase on homemadeph.com they've got pretty much everything A to Z meals desserts so Use the code. Awesome. So use the code who the oh. heck and there's cheesecake, Korean barbecue, some gib salad. And I'm sure I'm hoping mm-hmm. to have Indian food because I love Indian food. So I'll, I'll check it out. All right. So again, <laughs> all right. So, all right. Oh. All right. So thank you once more and uh, hope to see you guys. Hope you keep listening to our episodes. Follow us on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Who the heck are we? Five star. Five stars.